It's the military. I hope, I hope there won't be that. But I will tell you this. Anybody throwing stones, rocks, like they did to Mexico and the Mexican military, Mexican police, where they badly hurt police and soldiers of Mexico, we will consider that a firearm. Because there's not much difference when you get hit in the face with a rock, which, as you know, it was very violent a few days ago, very, very violent. That break-in, it was a break-in of a country. They broke into Mexico. And you look at what's happening in Guatemala, just to mention Guatemala, along with El Salvador and Honduras. It's disgraceful that those countries aren't able to stop this, because they should be able to stop it before it starts. And the United States pays them a fortune. And we're looking at not doing that anymore, because why should we be doing that when they do nothing for us? You know. President Trump said troops deployed to the southern border should respond to any migrants throwing rocks at them as if they were being shot at. Contradicting the rules of engagement they will be operating under, Task and Purpose reports. The issue came up on Thursday when a reporter asked Trump if any of the troops being sent to the border might open fire on asylum seekers, who are fleeing Central America. They are throwing rocks viciously and violently. You saw that three days ago, really hurting the military. We are not going to put up with that. If they want to throw rocks at our military, our military fights back. I told them to consider it a rifle. When they throw rocks like they did at the Mexico military and police, I say consider it a rifle. Now of course the Democrats and fake news are using this as Trump bash bait, however I believe it is the CIC, Commander in Chief, using a statement to control the illegals as they approach, intimidation and focus to send direct message to the illegals. Our military at the border so far as we have been told, does not have an row, rule of engagement, of lethal force. Another vital part of the puzzle is that these propaganda sites are already accusing the president and our military of lethal force when in fact, the rows are confidential and are still currently being created by the brass in the grass. Air Force Captain Lauren Hill, a spokeswoman for North Calm, referred questions about the rules of engagement to the Pentagon. Our standard rules of force apply here, as with anything, deadly force is authorized in self-defense for those faced with an imminent threat of death or serious bodily harm. Air Force General General Terence John O'Shaughnessy, head of North Calm, if the rules of engagement allow U.S. troops to shoot asylum seekers under certain circumstances. Let me be clear here, the U.S. military personnel that are going have very clear guidance that we've given them, it's the standard rules for the use of force. It's similar to if we were going to any location within the United States, we have these rules in place for a reason. Do not fall for the propaganda and lies being thrown around social media. Our president has not ordered lethal force on unarmed illegals that are approaching our southern border. If the situation turns hot then VOA, violence of action, will be used to shut it down and in a hurry. If this happens, do you support our soldiers going hot? I do. They are deployed to protect the border and if lives are in imminent danger, then train how you fight, fight how you train.